Good day and welcome. I'm learning exercise 4.7 and in this unit we're looking at how to solve lateral equations. Consider transitional and very important if you are doing maths, physics, uh, geography and so on. You have to learn how to work with equations and manipulate them. So a lateral equation, the equation where we use letters as coefficients and or constant terms. So you look here. Right through the whole equation, we have letters. The coefficient of x is a, a. My constant term here is q. So question one, solve for x, meaning we have to make x the subject of the formula. So as soon as we have to make x the subject of the formula, we have to get rid of everything attached to x. So they have plus q. If I take it to the other side, it must become minus q. So I transpose it across the equal sign, minus q. I want x on its own, that is ax, meaning a times x. So to get rid of something that's being multiplied, we always divide. So ax divided by a becomes x. What I do one side, I have to do on the other side. y minus q divided by a. So x equals to that, so they have made x the subject of the formula. Question 2, solve for y. So they have given you a, y minus p, equal p times y plus x. So first we are required to use the distributive law and multiply out because I have y on both sides. So they have a y, a times negative p becomes negative a p. p times y becomes p y, p times x becomes p x. Right? Now I want y, remember it says solve for y, so I'm going to group all my y's together. So they have put a y, if I take p y across minus p y. They said I have px, if I take ap across, it becomes plus ap. Right? They take out y as a common factor. So ay, if I divide by y, that leaves a behind, there leaves minus p behind. Yeah, I can also take out p as a common factor. px divided by p leaves behind x. Positive ap divided by p leaves behind a. I want y on its own, so this means y times that bracket. So to get rid of this bracket, I need to divide. So therefore, I divide by a minus p. So that gives me px plus a divided by a minus p. All right? Three. We can also test you and say change the subject of formula, in this case, to the letter on the right. So you see on the right here, I have a letter I want v equal to. So that means I have to use V and make it the subject of the formula. So 3.1, physics equation, momentum equals mass times velocity, or P equals M times V. Right, I want V on its own, so I have to get rid of M. So MV divided by M, what I do one side, I have to do on the other side. There you should see M and M cancels, and therefore I have V. V equals to P divided by M. Okay, I shouldn't say M and M cancels. Apparently, it's releasing a new album. Right, 3.2. Right, grade 11, we use this equation. Kinetic friction equals to mu k times n, or coefficient of kinetic friction times normal force. Right, they want me to make mu k the subject of formula. So mu k times n, to get rid of this n, I'm dividing by n. n and n cancels, leave behind mu k. What I do one side, I have to do on the other side. So if I divide by n here, I also have to divide by n there. So mu k equal f k times n. So that is a straight out linear lateral equations. All right. So if I go to 3.3, now I'm bringing in some division. And this is where the confusion tends to stand. There they want me to make h the subject of formula. So yeah. Uh, energy equals h times c divided by lambda, c is speed of light, lambda, that's constant. Right, they want h, so I first need to get rid of everything attached to h. So e times lambda leaves behind h times c. I want h on its own to get rid of c, I divide by c, so hc divided by c gives me h. That becomes energy times lambda divided by C. Right? We go across here. One of the equations that grade 2 house used to calculate gravity. 3.4 gravity equals to gravitational constant times my mass divided by the 
distance squared between them. So they want t as the subject of the formula. So first, get rid of the denominator. It's an equation, so multiply. So that becomes gd squared equal to gm. Right? Now I want d on its own. So first get rid of g. So therefore, becomes gm divided by g. And I'm left with d squared. Never find the square root of d squared. This will always be plus or minus. Because square root... A positive squared or a negative squared always end up positive, so that simply becomes square root gm divided by g. Hope you find the lesson useful. Go through it, practice it. You're going to manipulate a lot of equations, especially if you're doing physics. The term is specifically when we start with mechanics, right? And a quantitative analysis or stoichiometry in chemistry. So, yep. Yeah. Practice. If you need more lessons on literal equations, I would freely do them for you. God bless. All the best. Success is around the corner. Never give up. Right? Bye.